This video is about purchasing a motherboard that will work with the 13th generation Intel CPUs. This person also wants support for Thunderbolt. I don't really know what this person's needs are, so I'm just going to pick out the motherboard that I would want to buy. This motherboard comes in at $190, whether you purchase it from Newegg.com or Amazon.com. I like the fact that this motherboard has support for USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 That protocol will allow for 20 gigabits per second. This motherboard does support Thunderbolt 4, but you have to purchase a Thunderbolt PCI Express card. In theory, you need the Thunderbolt header on your motherboard in order to install the Thunderbolt PCI Express card. There are people that have hacked their BIOS and the Windows operating system in order to install a Thunderbolt PCI Express card without having the header. I do not recommend doing that. You can see the features and specifications of this motherboard. When I purchase a motherboard, all I really need is one of the PCI slots to be 16 lanes for my graphics card. And then if there's another slot that is 16 lanes physically, but only supports four lanes mechanically, I'm good to go. If you want to run dual graphics cards, you're better off getting the X-Series motherboards and the X-Series CPUs. This motherboard has all the I.O. options I want built right in. Having said that, if you do want the Thunderbolt ports on the I.O. shield, Intel and AMD do offer motherboards set up like that. Hypothetically, if somebody likes this motherboard layout, but they wished it had digital audio, it's possible you might find a motherboard exactly like this for just $20 more that has digital audio. I would recommend buying that motherboard for an extra $20. On the other hand, if in order to get the digital audio, it's going to cost $80, you might be better off just getting a USB audio card. When you're purchasing a motherboard, you have to know what specifications and features you want. And then all you simply do is check out motherboards and find one that has the specifications and features that you want. It doesn't matter if you want to buy an AMD motherboard or an Intel motherboard. The process would be the same. Some of you may have noticed this is a micro ATX motherboard. A lot of my viewers and subscribers know I have a micro ATX case. You can stick a micro ATX motherboard in an ATX case. I hope this video helped point this person in the right direction. If you found this video helpful and informative, you might want to check out some of my other videos.